Hey guys, what's up? It's Leo. Welcome back to my channel, Girl Gone Crypto. So if you guys have been around my channel at all, you know that I love projects that combine blockchain and social media, partially because I have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for it because blockchain based social media is how I got involved in the space back in 2017. But also I just think it offers a really massive opportunity in the market, like not only because it's a huge industry, but when we're looking at people's time and attention and how social trends are generated, social media is a huge part of that. I mean, walk into any public place, look around, and I bet at least 80% or more of those people are going to be looking at their phone. And probably most of those people are on some type of social media app. So I've been hearing a lot about veracity lately and decided to spend some time digging into it so I can make this video for you guys because it's under that umbrella of blockchain and social media, but it's pretty different than some of the other projects I've talked about here on my channel. Because generally when you think about blockchain and social media, at least I think about decentralized platforms like D2, BitTube, Vibervid, people that are trying to compete with these big centralized platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Vimeo, places like that. But what's interesting about Veracity is that they're actually incorporating within those centralized systems to use blockchain technology to help solve some of the problems that are happening there. So I thought that was pretty interesting and worth checking out. And later in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about that model versus some of these decentralized platforms and what are some of the pros and cons of these two different types of approaches. So hang on for that. But first of all, let's just dig into what is Veracity, how does it work, and what exactly are they trying to solve? All right, well, what is Veracity? Well, first of all, it's an attention-based video sharing platform. So a lot of you probably have heard of the basic attention token and Brave Browser, and this is a similar concept except for videos. Now, instead of diverting people to a separate platform, like I said, they are integrating within those current systems like YouTube and Twitch. And so the model is pretty simple. When someone watches a video and they watch at least 80% of it, there's this little trophy, the Veracity trophy that turns green and lets them know that they've earned VRA which is the veracity token and so right there people can choose to create an account to claim that token and they can actually earn even more VRA by choosing to watch advertisements and then they can manage all of that in their Vera wallet now it seems like the problem they're trying to solve is really about the advertising model which affects three different parties right that affects the creator the advertiser and the consumer of the content now right now in order to watch all of this free content online the consumer i mean they have to give up a little bit of their privacy in addition to watching ads that are kind of intrusive but on the advertising side of things they're not super stoked about the setup either because there's so many different ad blockers and let's face it when people see an ad they can't wait to click skip and they're not really watching it and so these advertisers are spending money to get in front of an audience and they don't even really know for sure how much of that target audience is being reached. So Veracity is utilizing blockchain technology to provide verification and analytics for those advertisers via proof of view so they can really feel confident that their ad spend was getting in front of the right audience. Now, allowing the consumers to earn cryptocurrency by watching ads helps to improve their overall user experience as well because instead of being annoyed by the ads, they now have more motivation to actually watch them because they're getting paid for their time. But what's great about Veracity is people can still choose to block ads if that's just something that they don't want in their experience. Okay, so we've talked about the consumer and the advertiser, but what about the third peg of the stool, the creator or the publisher? Well, according to the Veracity website, they are predicting that this model will actually really help benefit the creator probably the most when we're talking about a monetary return. Because of the direct payment model they've set up with the advertisers, that will help these creators to actually help monetize their content. But beyond that, let's say that there is a whole host of consumers that are enjoying earning VRA by watching content. They may be purposely seeking out creators that have partnered with them so that they can be earning more VRA, 
or they may choose to watch more of your videos because they can earn from that. So it helps to make your content just a little bit stickier as well. Okay, great. So let's say you're either a creator or a consumer and now you have VRA. Like what can you actually do with it? Well, they've created a whole end-to-end -end ecosystem that you can actually use it within their system, but they're also working to partner with different brands where you can purchase things directly, like different goods and services for your VRA. But beyond that, I mean, really like any other token that's available on different exchanges, you can buy, sell, trade, really do whatever you want with it. And so if you decide that you want to sell it and turn it into a different cryptocurrency or into fiat, that's definitely an option that you can have. And in addition to that, one thing I noticed on their website is if you are wanting to hold your VRA, they have some pretty generous staking options. They're offering a 36.5% annual RRI with daily payout options, which is pretty cool. But at the time of this video being posted, it looks like that program is currently full. So if that's something that you are interested in, I would just recommend maybe following them on Twitter, keeping it on their website, and just kind of keep an eye out for news and updates on how to stake. Okay, so now that we've given a brief overview of what is Veracity, what is VRA, how does it get used, who's using it, what's the model, what's the ambition here, let's talk about what they're doing versus decentralized video sharing sites like DTube and others like that. Now, I think that there's room for both in the ecosystem. And I wanna give a little bit of a case study that shows some of the power of what this maybe could do and why I'm kind of excited to keep an eye on it and watch this project as it develops. So I think that these decentralized sites that are trying to take people off of YouTube and create an alternative platform offer a ton of value, especially to people that have been demonetized or shadow banned or just in general are really conscious of their security and their privacy and would prefer to support a platform that actually honors and appreciates that. So I think that there's a huge amount of value over here, but I also think there's a huge amount of value in meeting people where they're at. So an example of this, as most of you are probably familiar with PewDiePie, as he is probably one of the most famous YouTube creators ever out there. He's got 102 million subscribers on YouTube, and he announced, I think it was last year, that he was gonna be streaming exclusively on DLive, which is a decentralized streaming platform. Now, over on DLive right now, he's got over 600,000 followers, which most of us would think like, wow, that's pretty good, especially for this kind of newer decentralized site. But when you look at the differences, that's less than 1% of his audience that followed him over. So again, there were those hardcore fans, there's those people that were really excited to, but generally speaking, changing consumer behavior is hard hard and it's a long road and so meeting people where they're at bringing the blockchain to them instead of trying to get them to come over to the blockchain i think in general has a lot of potential whenever we find a project that can integrate easily into people's daily lives so again i think there's a lot of value to both types of models um, i'm excited to continue watching this project to see where they go i hope that you enjoyed this video and this overview of veracity and vra as always i love to hear from you in the comment section so let me know if you have any thoughts or questions and i will see you in the next video